Okay, so we're gonna start the tutorial. You are going to need chopped onions. You're going to need some mushrooms. I don't know what these are, what kind they are. You're gonna need minced garlic. You're going to need sea salt, black pepper, mist dash, and garlic powder. You're going to need uh, angel hair pasta or vermicelli of your choice, whatever. So first I start by boiling some water for our pasta and then I add some salt in there. Then I'm gonna add the noodles. So then on another pot, I'm going to put some oil, let the pot heat up and put my diced onions in there. <clears throat> and then I'm going to add some garlic, the minced garlic. Okay, just add a little more, cause you can never get enough garlic. Who loves garlic? So then I'm going to saute these um, vegetables. Are they vegetables? I don't know. Okay, so I didn't forget about the pasta. So now I'm going to drain the pasta. This freaking strainer is older than me, but I, that's probably should, anyway. I mean, so yeah, I'm gonna drain the pasta and ignore that eggshell because it's kind of bothering me and I wish I could just take it out. So, my pots and pans are beat up. I don't care, y'all. So I'm gonna drain the pasta and I'm gonna uh, put it to the side but I'm going to reserve some of that pasta water. That pasta water is what is going to make our mushroom carbonara like it's gonna bind it together, okay? It's gonna bind it together, I promise you. Ignore the beat up hand again. Look, we trying. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna get onto the egg. There's no cream in this, we're just using egg. So I used three eggs. I probably should have used more, but maybe I probably used like four or five, but I used three eggs and I used um, the yolk. And then now I'm gonna take some Parmesan cheese. I got this recipe off of Bon Appetit and you're supposed to get fresh Parmesan, but I couldn't get it, so yeah, whatever. That's my dad in the background. And I added some black pepper, Parmesan cheese to this, and I'm just gonna whisk it away. And you're probably confused, like what am I going to do with this? Don't worry, y'all, it's gonna look good. So I'm really just whisking away. You wanna whisk all your ingredients, and <laughs> we need a little bit more cheese so it can be soft. That's what uh, stove top gets to say. <laughs> yes, this is a pasta meal that's gonna be sopped up. Make it for your man, make it for your girlfriend, make it for your mama, your daddy, whatever. <sighs> My, I wish I had an electric mixer, but you're just gonna keep on whisking. All right, so then I'm going to switch over and I'm gonna go to the pot and gonna add the mushrooms and incorporate it in the garlic and onion mixture. Now, I just wanna saute it. Um, I would recommend using dry mushroom, not dry, but uh, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, I don't really care. So then that pasta water, huh, add it a little bit. And I guess this part is called deglazing the pan with the water and it's all gonna like thicken up. So then I'm gonna gradually keep adding the pasta water just because I don't wanna get new water. The water's already hot and fresh and I wouldn't wanna use tap water because it's gonna cool the whole pan down and the cooking process is gonna be slow. So now I'm going to add the some more of this water and I'm gonna add it grad and I'm gonna add the boy the pasta water gradually to the egg parmesan mixture. And once that's incorporated and once you feel like it's enough, you're going to whisk it and then you're going to put it in there. Now, I did it gradually because you don't want scrambled eggs, you want carbonara. So I'm going to gradually add it and mix it. And I was so terrified because I'm like, uh, it's gonna turn into scrambled eggs. No, it's not. If you mix it right and you're quick and you pay attention, it will be fine. So I just, I was so scared. I didn't want to just mix it all together, but all at once, but you know, I, I had the hang of it. So I've never made this before and yeah. So what I do is I'm just, you know, whisking away and I'm cooking, whisking, I'm stirring away and I'm cooking down that egg so you can get like a creamy custardy type of, um, what is it? Creamy custardy type of consistency. And I'm just adding that egg in a Parmesan cheese mixture and, any it, it's, it's looking good so then i'm gonna add my pasta that's my dad's phone ringing so yeah i'm gonna add my pasta i feel like i should have made a little bit more sauce but noodles absorb sauce anyways 
but yeah so i'm gonna just toss around the mixture toss it around mm -hmm, and then and i mean you got yourself some carbonara all right you didn't have to i just add to oh wait i was gonna take that out but just keep going just keep going just add as much cheese as you want um, and I'm just gonna mix and incorporate that cheese into the carbonara. And we are going to plate this bad boy. Look, I use glassware only. I use glassware only just because it's classy. Um, I just don't believe in paper plates. My folks ain't never buy paper plates. I guess because you know the foreign person in me be washing dishes. But um, this is your mushroom. Dang, why is it taking so long? And that is the final look. It is mushroom carbonara. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna taste it, y'all, and see how it tastes. I'm gonna take it. Hold on, let's see. Let's try it. Mm, let's see. Oh. Okay, I'm just so scared. Okay, let me get some mushroom, actually. And this is like, it could be a vegan meal, but the pasta isn't really vegan. So maybe if you can go for vegan pasta and maybe some vegan cheese. Let's try it. Mmm. 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 Mm. That's their stuff. This pasta's bomb, y'all. So, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Um, I'd be trying to plate, but... It's really good. I really like how it turned out. Um, let me know what y'all think. And why don't y'all try it yourselves and send it to me. So, um, I'm out. I'm going to grab my pasta. Um, nom, 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 nom. Bye.